Oh, hey everybody, Kyrie091, hanging out with you, boy, oh boy, are we gonna have big fun today, playing some more Final Fantasy Tactics. So, uh, when we last left off, we had just gotten into a pretty tough fight in Dorter Trade City. Um, we ran out of Phoenix Downs, and that was troubling. Uh, I'm gonna buy five of them, spending a fair bit of money in Phoenix Downs, hopefully we don't run out again, but, uh, they're very expensive at this point in the game, so I can't really afford to buy as many of them as I wish I could. Uh... Let me tell you what else is going on. Look at the cool picture of Dorter Trade City. Look, it's like on a hill. There's like a road that... It looks kind of like San Francisco or something, huh? Anyways, um... Let's go to the formation screen and take a look at what we've changed. So, uh... We got this iron sword at the end of the last fight. I gave that to Ramza. It's a little stronger. It has a little bit less evade than the other one. The long sword, but that's okay. Uh, the other thing we got from that fight was the linen robe. Which, uh... We gave to the wizard here, and as you can see, it increases MP by 10. So we got 10 more MP. Another big change, um, the wizard gained access to the Time Mage class, which uh, in order to gain access to that, you need to be a level 2 wizard. Uh, let me talk about job levels real quick. Um, you can see the JP total for wizard uh, that this character has is 308 points. To gain one more job level, she's going to need to get up to 350 total. Um, uh, that has nothing to do with the points that you spend. Your total keeps accumulating even if you spend your points. So, um, I, I actually have 150. I could get poison, but I'd rather save up for bolt too. Uh, so yeah, that unlocked the time mage job class. And the first spell I learned, of course, has got to be haste. So we got haste. Haste is great in this game. Haste is huge in this game. So it's pretty cool knowing. I can't believe I didn't put move plus one on this wizard. wonder how long that's been sitting there like that, just waiting to be applied. Um... Who else has move plus one and doesn't have it equipped? Uh, yeah, so that's the, the changes from this episode to last. Uh, let's save it, and then let's head into Zeklos Desert for, uh, to rescue the Marquis, who is being held there by some dude named Gustav. Again, I don't think we'll bring the Squire, McNeil, or whatever his name is. He's probably not coming with us. In fact, he's probably not going to be coming with us much ever again. Uh, let's see. I want to put you with Ramza. See, the capacity is only two, but then when you push start, you get to set another attack team over here. So you actually get two groups of people. Uh, you kind of come at it from two different sides here. Seller of Sand Mouse. So this fight is it's pretty challenging, too. I don't think it's as bad as the Dorder fight, but it, it this one can be rough. Cool. God, the music in this game is so good. The Hoku Ten are moving. So I heard what's going to happen to us. Forget the Death Corps run before we get killed. We'll die if we follow Wygriff. If we get a ransom for the Marquis like Gusev plan, we can get out of this misery. So these guys aren't ideologues like Wygriff. Wygriff wants to change the world and make it a better place. These guys are just trying to get by. They don't care about changing the world. They just want to live their lives and have food to eat and stuff, you know? This is going to be our first encounter with the Monk job class. Um, to gain access to the Monk, you need a level 2 Knight. So I guess we probably could have Monks by now. I don't. I didn't make one, but I, I could have. And uh, there's one right there. There's a bad guy Monk. Oh, and he blocked. He missed him. Suck, Delita. So you can see our two attack teams are kind of split up. And they're not, like, right next to each other. God dang! We're missing everything today! Here comes Gerald the Knight. I'm gonna attack Algus. Hey ya! Delita always ends up in a freaking one-on-one -on -one with this monk in this battle. Which the monk really has the upper hand right now because Delita's an archer. I don't always make Delita an archer. But when I do, I prefer that he loses to a monk. Alright. There we go. He's going to counterattack because why the hell not? Son of a bitch. Um, 1.5, 1.5. No. Shit, I was hoping I could hit them. If they were on the same level, I could hit everybody with a haste. I can't hit them. 
Uh, I think I'll just do it right here. Time magic. Haste is going to take three turns. And we'll drop it right there. And it's got a good chance of sticking on Ramza, which is cool. Um, yeah, let's move over here. And we'll potion up Algus right now, because he was super helpful in the Dorder fight. Honestly, without him, I would have had to reset the fight and try again, because I wasn't... I wasn't going to let my knight turn into a crystal, and I guarantee the very next... If Algus would have missed on that last attack, the very next thing that would have happened is my knight would have turned into a crystal and would have had to reset and try again. Yes! Okay, well, I got Ramza. That's kind of... would have been nice to get the wizard, but whatever. So Ramza already gets another turn. He's just going to go ahead and finish off this monk right now. There you go. Helped you out, Delita. How's that? Look at these guys. are all like trying to line up to like do something. Oh, he can shoot over the, the top. Jerk. It's a longbow. It's a longbow thing. Crossbow would not be able to reach there. Okay. Come on, Delita. Come on over and do something important with me. Shoot somebody. Damn it. All right. There you go. Nice. Na, 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 na. Oh, they got you cornered, Algus. You might be in some trouble, buddy. Ba -ba -ba. Here comes Keith. Keith the Knight. His name is Keith, guys. This guy's name is seriously Keith right now. Like, that's happening right now. We're dealing with that. We got a guy named Keith involved. Uh. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I can stick haste on this guy without without ruining everything. Perfect. Bump bum bum. So we'll stick haste on that panel. We're gonna move him. We're gonna move him right here. And then we're gonna throw a potion to Diaz, our handy dandy nightman. Fighter of the day man. Uh, and then we'll move him right here in range of the haste. And then we'll attack. So now they should both get hit by haste. Hopefully it'll stick on at least one of them. Nope. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Hey, guys. Rams is inside your little fort. What now? Oh, I taught Rams a new skill, by the way. I think I forgot to mention that. I'll show it to you, um, just a second here. Once I, once I get a turn or something, I'm not going to stop the battle, but God damn it, he's going to die and there's nothing I can do about it. There is something I can do about it. Does he have items? No. Uh, um. Yeah. Delita, do something. Oh, I gave Delita move find item, by the way. Move find item is a chemist skill, and it's a movement skill, like where you learn move, where you put move plus one. Uh, but move find item makes you randomly discover, well, not randomly. There are set places where items are hidden in the ground, and if you move to one of them with move find item set, you will find, pick up the item off the ground. Hey, hey, Algus! Woo! Doing something. Okay, now you're dead, Algus. Now this guy's gonna kill you. I'll, I'll, I'll bring him back. Algus has been pretty productive. I usually like to leave him dead, because he's kind of a jerk. Like the way he pulled that guy's hair and kicked him and stuff. Hey, ya! Uh, what?! Bullcrap. The sheer bullcrap. I don't have any way to bring him back. I didn't think this through. Hmm. I do not think I can end the battle fast enough. I don't think, no matter what, I don't believe I'm going to be able to kill these guys before my chemist crystallizes. I can't believe nobody else has item that I didn't think this through like that. That's a freaking stupid move on my part, man. I usually think, I usually like put a lot of thought into building my party and make sure that there's uh, one person that's in charge of bringing people back and that that person has like a backup 
in case he dies. And I did not think this one through. Algus is at no risk of crystallizing because he is a, um, uh, like a guest character. He can't crystallize. Why, Delita? Why? Oh my god, he could have killed him. He could have finished him off and he freaking didn't. Mm, frustrating. Now he's gonna die. Not yet, but he's getting close. Fuck, haste just wore off. And now he's gonna... Wow, he has potions. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Oh shit. I do have a backup life bringer to her. It's this guy. This is perfect. Phoenix down. Yes! Even though Ramza could use some healing himself, but I want to make sure we get this guy brought back to life first. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum bum. Stand right here and hit that guy. Those two knights up there are dead, by the way. Uh, they're about to get zapped to death by the power of that wizard. Here it comes. Oh, sucks for you guys when you get hit by bolts. Alright, so what are you going to do in here, Tim? It's all you can do, Tim. Delita, I hope you freaking kill this guy. Why dash? You have a bow, and you're dashing. I don't know. So he's probably going to kill... Yeah, I figured he was going to either kill him or Ramza. And that's okay. We're about to end this fight anyways. Hey, that guy dropped a treasure box. Bum, ba bum bum Uh, let's hit him with the ice, why not? Stick it right next to him. The reason I don't want to put it on top of him is because I want someone to be able to get along the side of him here. I'm only healing Ramza because I want the I want the wizard to, to finish this guy off. But not before I throw a rock at him to torture him a little bit. <laughs> there you go, wizard. Finish him off with some ice. Got him. Boy, this fight was starting to look glum, man. I wasn't sure about this one. Took longer than I thought. Should be noticing right now. So we're here to rescue the Marquis, and let's go rescue the Marquis, I guess. He's probably downstairs or something, huh? Blind knife, that sounds cool. That'd be good for the, um, whatchamacallit, chemist. Gustav, why don't you give up? Oh my god. Struggles, man. Is that all you want to say? I love this. I love this fight. I love it. Here it comes. Urgh! Got him. Got him. You got him. You got him. The sprite animation in this game is just amazing. Wygriff. Marquis. So there's Marquis Elmdor. He's laying on the ground over there. Stop it, Algus. Marquis is alright, take him back to Igros. What? Kidnapping wasn't our goal, we'd never stoop to such acts. You can have the Marquis if you just let me go. Well, don't trifle with us, you can't beat us. Stop it, Algus, he's serious. So, we're gonna let Wygriff go in exchange for the Marquis. Oh my gosh. Let him go, Algus. Why'd he stop me? The Death Corps will destroy itself. Don't risk it. Drop the biscuit. So, I want to take Gustav's sword on the ground right there. So, 
conceptually, Gustav and Wygriff differed in the sense that Gustav just was trying to get by. He didn't believe that Wygriff's plan of fixing the problems is ever going to be successful. What do you think, YouTube? Do you think that Wygriff's plan of fixing social problems might have worked? I guess we'll never know. Go to Dorder. Uh, let's check out our formation screen. I don't think we got enough job points to do much here. The th um, one thing I really wanted to learn was counter tackle. Um, counter tackle does just what it sounds like. You actually saw it in that fight with that monk there. Somebody hits you and you counter attack with dash. So it's kind of cool. Uh, Diaz, you can now learn power break, and we'll get that for you for show. Uh, McNeil, you were not there. I think you might. I think we might be done with McNeil, guys. Other than random battles, we probably won't use him ever. Um, Ingram, the chemist, is about to learn high potion. Angelica, the wizard, now has enough to learn bolt to. Yay. Um, honestly, I, I don't know how much more black magic I even care about. Um, the other two spells are okay. Uh, the three spells take so long to cast, they're really not worth it. And the four spells take even longer to cast, so they're really not worth it. Flare is actually pretty damn good, but again, it's kind of so far off in the future. By the time you could get it, you could have better things with other people. Uh, magic attack up's pretty useful, though. We might get that. Um, I think I think we're going to turn Angelica into something else. I think we'll turn Angelica maybe into a white mage and then give her black magic as like a secondary ability. So, white magic, of course, is the... Oh, I don't want to give up haste, so that's not an option. Let's turn her into a time mage. And give her black magic as a secondary ability. Because I don't want to give up uh, access to to haste. Gain JP up. Move plus one. Um, I almost want to give this guy items as backup. In case we get into another problem there. So we have three different people that can heal and bring people back to life if needed. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Be sure to join us next... Ooh, maybe not. Wow, new stuff. Ah, small mantle. Small wool cape increases your evade and stuff. Pretty darn good, but I think I'm going to stick with the battle boots. But we have other things to buy. Let's buy a red hood for Ramza. Increases his HP. Look, look you see up there his HP plus eight? Boom. Nothing here for you, except a new shield, probably. Buckler. Increases the evade a little bit. Let's get one. Uh, yeah, sorry, buddy. Poor McNeil. Oh, why do you have the... Why don't you have the linen robe? That's what I want you to have. And as far as your staff, let's get you a white staff. Um, the... The thunder rod and the ice rod and all that stuff right here. We'll buy a thunder rod. They randomly cast the spell that they're associated with. Magic bolt. So every now and then, that, spell, that, that rod will cast bolt. Just by you whacking somebody in the head with it. Which is pretty freaking cool. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play This Game. Be sure to join us next time when we play this game some more. Oh, that's right. We have a blind knife we have to equip. Alright, bye guys.